Good morning and welcome to BUILD. You know, it's always uh, fun to be back at BUILD, uh, especially in times like this. You know, we're just about getting into these middle innings of another platform shift. Uh, and these middle innings are where all things happen, all things scale. In fact, it reminds me, uh, for me, you know, 91 and Win32 or, um, you know, the web stack in 96, uh, 2008 and cloud and mobile. Uh, and here we are uh, in 2025 building out this open agentic web uh, at scale. And more importantly, you know, it's all about expanding that opportunity for developers across every layer of the stack so that you all can build the apps, the agents that can empower every person and every organization on the planet. That's what we will unpack at this conference. You know, software engineering has always been about having the right tools to bring your ideas to life, continually perfect and craft and tame complexity. AI has become so central to how we code. And that's why we're open sourcing Copilot in VS Code. We're really excited about this. You know, this is a big deal. Starting today, we will integrate these AI-powered capabilities directly into the core of VS Code, bringing them into the same open source repo that powers the most, world's most loved uh, dev tool. This is the next big step forward, which is a full coding agent built right into GitHub, taking Copilot from being a pair programmer to a peer programmer. You can assign issues to Copilot, bug fixes, new features, code maintenance, and it'll complete these tasks auto autonomously. And today, I'm super excited that it's now available to all of you. Now, let's go up the stack. Uh, let's talk about the platform opportunity of Microsoft 365. Uh, I'm very excited about the latest update to Microsoft uh, 365 Copilot, which is now generally available. It's really exciting to see this. It really brings together chat, search, notebooks, create, and agents all into this one scaffolding that's intuitive. Uh, right? I always say this is the UI for AI. Today, we are introducing a new class of enterprise-grade agents you can build using models fine-tuned on your company's data, workflows, and style. We call it Copilot Tuning. It's all about taking that expertise that you have as a firm and further amplifying it so that everyone in the company gets it and also your products and, and services reflect it. But as models evolve uh, and you know, faster and become more capable with new samples being dropped like every couple of months, uh, the apps will have to evolve uh, to become these full, stateful applications that are multi-model and multi-agent. Think of Foundry like a production line for intelligence. You know, today uh, we're going further. Uh, we, it starts for Foundry with model choice. You know, we already support 1,900 models, whether they're response models, reasoning models, task-specific, multimodal, you name it, they're all there in Foundry. That's why today we are thrilled to announce Grok from XAI is coming to Azure. <laughs> and now you can provision throughput once on Foundry and you can across, you can use all that provision throughput across multiple models, including Grok, right? That's just a game changer in terms of how you think about uh, models and model provisioning. And so now, once you do that, you now have Mistral, uh, with which you can even provision with all the sovereign deployment in the EU region, which increasingly becomes a massive consideration for people building applications around the world, uh, because I think increasingly there will be models people would prefer in different parts. Uh, and we're excited about Mistral. Llama, I was at LlamaCon recently with Mark, and you know, as he likes to say, he's bringing the full herd of Llama 
Uh, the full Llama herd uh, to Azure. We are excited about all the advances that they're making in open source, Black Forest Labs, and many more. And we are closing the, you know, the gap and the loop between Foundry and Copilot Studio. And this is pretty, pretty key for us as developers, right? You can now take a model, uh, fine tune it in, uh, or post train it uh, in Foundry, and then drop it right into Copilot Studio so that you can now use that post train model to automate a workflow or build an agent, right? So that's the type of stuff that you can do. And it goes beyond that. Uh, in the future, we believe every organization is going to have people and agents working together. And that means the systems that you are today using ubiquitously for things like identity, uh, management of endpoints, security, will now need to extend to agents as well. That's a big deal, right? You want the same rails uh, that you use today at scale to work across people and agents. Uh, and that's what we're doing. So far, we have talked about everything we're doing in the cloud. Now, we want to bring the power of this app server and app building capability to the edge and clients as well with Foundry Local, uh, which we are announcing today. It includes a very, yeah. You know, it includes a fast, high-performance runtime, models, agents as a service, uh, and a CLI for local app development. And yes, it's fully supported on Windows and the Mac. And today, we're taking another step uh, to make uh, Windows the best platform for AI. And we're excited to announce the Windows AI Foundry. Windows will now include several built-in MCP servers, like file systems, settings, app actions, as well as windowing. Uh, and we are adding native MCP registry that lets MCP-compatible uh, clients uh, discover the secure MCP servers that have been vetted by us for security performance, all while keeping you in control. You know, speaking of WSL, we first announced uh, Bash on Ubuntu on Windows nearly 10 years ago. It subsequently became what we obviously call you know, today WSL. Uh, looking back, in fact, the very first issue uh, in the repo was a request to open source it. So let's go back and reopen that very first issue and close it as fixed, uh, because today we are making WSL fully open source. You know, so far, we've talked a lot about the agentic web and the ecosystem around it coming together, whether it's Microsoft 365 to Foundry, all the way to Windows. And I thought it would be great to have Kevin Scott, our CTO, to give you a broader perspective on this ecosystem and our collective opportunity to build a more agentic web. Welcome, Kevin. So, you know, we have heard from Satya, uh, uh, like just now, about the MCP registry in Windows. Uh, like, we're doing a ton of work to enable Microsoft's first party platform components and first party. Uh, services to be MCP uplifted. And the idea behind NL Web is it is a way for anyone who has a website or an API already to very easily make their website or their API uh, an agentic application. Um, it lets you implement and leverage the full power of large language models to uh, enrich the services and products that you're already offering. And because every NL Web uh, endpoint is by default an MCP server, uh, it means that those things that people are offering up via NL Web will be accessible to any agent that speaks M MCP. You know, this, uh, the agentic web vision that Kevin just described in some sense gets us closer to even the uh, original vision and the ethos of the web. Uh, both the content as well as the intelligence now can be more distributed and discoverable across the web. Now, moving uh, to the next layer of the stack, uh, data. We are making a ton of data news uh, at Build, uh, starting, in fact, uh, with SQL Server 2025, 
uh, that's launching, and more importantly, we're bringing you know, the data layer and the intelligence closer than ever before. When it comes to Fabric, uh, which we launched uh, here at Bill two years ago, it's at the heart of our data and analytics stack. Uh, and Fabric brings together all your data, all your workloads together into this one unified experience. Uh, last fall, we put SQL into Fabric. And today, we're taking the next big step. Uh, we're bringing Cosmos DB to Fabric 2. You know, lastly, I want to talk about one of my favorite features now, which is coming to Power BI, which is Copilot in Power BI. So that allows you to chat uh, with all of your data. You can ask questions about data, visually explore, analyze it across multiple Power BI reports and semantic models. And so we are very, very excited about that. But let's get to the bottom layer of the stack, which is infrastructure. You know, as a developer, uh, you face that classic optimization problem between delivering the best AI experience in terms of performance and latency, and then, of course, you got to deliver it with sort of monotonically decreasing cost. And our aim is to offer the lowest cost, highest scale infrastructure to build both cloud and next generation uh, of AI workloads. Uh, and it all comes down to delivering the most tokens per watt per dollar, and that's sort of the ultimate equation for us. And we're riding you know, multiple S-curves right across silicon. Think of it as classic Moore's law plus system software optimization and the model optimization. It's the compounding effects of those three S-curves. Uh, and we're doing all of this with real speed. right? So when the, anything gets ready, you want to bring it into the fleet. Uh, in fact, Azure is the first cloud to bring NVIDIA GB200 online and do so at scale. And so we're very, very excited about scaling this um, and making it available to all of you as developers. Uh, one of the most exciting things I think that will happen over the years to come is we'll have real breakthroughs in the scientific process itself. Uh, which will really accelerate our ability to create you know, a new material, a new compound, a new molecule. Um, and that's why we are bringing together the entire stack I talked about today um, and saying, look, let's apply it to science and the scientific workflow, the scientific process. Uh, that's our ambition with Microsoft Discovery, which we are announcing today. Uh, Microsoft, yeah? yeah. If you sort of think about GitHub for software developers, Microsoft 365 and you know, Copilot and Copilot Studio for knowledge work and business process, Microsoft Discovery is for science. We're taking really a, a systems approach, a platform approach, which you can expect from Microsoft across every layer uh, of the stack, uh, right? Whether it's GitHub and GitHub Copilot enabling an open ecosystem for the software development lifecycle, uh, Microsoft 365 uh, Copilot and Teams and Copilot Studio enabling agents for every role and business process. Uh, and an agent factory in Foundry uh, enabling you to build any AI app, any agent using any data, all running on world-class infrastructure. And all of this on a robust set of rails uh, for management, identity, and security. Ultimately, though, all of this is about creating opportunity to fuel your ambition. Thank you all very, very much. Enjoy the rest of BUILD.